Ronda Rousey did not have what most would call a normal upbringing. Growing up, she always felt out of place, except for when she competed in judo, a calling that was not only encouraged, but demanded of her by her Venezuelan mom. My mom, she was um, the first American that ever won the world championships in judo, and she is just one of those amazing overachiever people where she was uh, working as an engineer, a single mother, getting her PhD, winning the world championships in judo all at the same time. I started doing judo. And um, that was kind of like our thing that me and my mom did together. Before that, I was kind of more of like, you know, like a daddy's girl. We started really getting uh, really close and really distant during that time as well. To me, I was a kid. I was it, The way I looked at it was every single second of my day was dictated by other people that weren't me, you know? So it was at that point where, you know, you think your parents are just trying to destroy your life, but they're really just doing everything they can to help you. It took everything to make the Olympics, you know. I, I, I dropped out of school sophomore year. I got to the Olympics and you walk into the opening ceremonies and you're sitting sit on a podium and it's just, there's no amount of time that you could go to any high school party or see whatever movie it is that will be equal to that. After her Olympic triumph, Rhonda tried leading a normal life, but her itch to compete was just too strong. It wasn't long before she made her splash in the world of professional MMA and then took that world by storm. After the Olympics, I was just I was done with judo. I had just fallen out of love with the sport, and I didn't know what else to do with myself. So I came home. I told my mom, I was like, I think I want to be a fighter. And she was like, I'm working at USC. You can get a scholarship to USC. What's wrong with you? Why is this what you want to do? It's not even going to go anywhere. So of course, being stubborn like I am, I'm like, of course I'm going to do it. Just give me a year. I told her, just give me a year. Give me one year, mom, and I will win the world championships in a year. I promise. Less than a year later, we did win the world title. For the role model thing, I do whatever I can for my little sister, and if that helps other people out, then that's, that's fine. If there's one thing that people can pull from me, I think that it's just that it's good if you're a woman to be ambitious and to go after what you want despite a lot of people wanting you to fail. Ronda Rousey! Okay, mm -hmm. Rhonda's one pretty tough chick. That's right. But I didn't see her take you out. That's because I saved the best for last. Check this out, an extra clip of me getting my butt handed to me. <laughs> She's gonna show me how to get flipped, judo style, right? Right. Okay, now, is this gonna hurt? I'm gonna put on the camera here so they can get my perspective. Right. Any warnings that I should have? Anything that I should just go with the flow? Just tuck your chin in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you hit the ground, don't let your head go loose, mm -hmm. and don't ever reach for the ground, just relax, okay? okay? Don't stick your arm, don't push your arm out. Okay. So you might break your shoulder, okay? okay. Um, she took, she swept me right off my feet as she does most people, Aww. most guys. Thank you very much. Umberto, only you would actually enjoy getting beaten up by a girl. It's surprisingly fun. <laughs>